So, thank you for clicking on the video. Um, today I'm having a walk around some church ruins. Um, this church was built around about the Hastings time. Um, the very first mention of it was dated 1107, I do believe. Um, but it was built or sort of put into action around the time of King Offa, which was around 771. Um, so it's pretty old. Um, there's not much left of this place now. Um, they pulled most of it down, sort of like, I think it was mid, uh, mid 19th century, to build another church not far from here. So they just used all the parts really from here. Um, there's been nearly 2,000 people buried here over its course of time. Um, some of the graveyard gravestones here are like dated pretty old as well. Um, let's have a walk around. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I've got quite a few videos and quite a few things coming up in the future. So um, let's head on with the video. There's not much left of this church, um, so it's very old. Still quite a few gravestones lying around. Um, some of these are pretty old, like uh, if I zoom in on the date on here, 1839 and 1841. So some of these are pretty old. Um, you can see a lot of them have just sort of gone to the elements now. But yeah, there's still a lot of graves around. A lot of them have vanished over the years due to housing development. But some of these are pretty nice to look at. I'll head on to the church and the tower in a second. Just gonna have a quick scroll around here. Just so you can see what this place is like. Some of these are pretty fascinating. Showing someone stolen the uh, plaques off of there. It's all barbed, sort of ironwork all the way around. Showing someone's yeah, uh, showing the plaques gone. See how old that is. Yeah, so a lot of these has uh, vanished due to development and nature over there. It's a pretty nice place. I haven't been here for a while. I think the last time I come here was probably about five years ago. I don't believe in sort of ghosts and stuff, but I used to come here at night, just taking loads of pictures. Quite a lot of sort of like orbs and odd stuff in the photos, but you know, no figures. <laughs> but some of these are pretty old. I think one of the uh, graves here. It was rumoured to be around 100 years, uh, 900 years old. I don't know where that would be, whether that's in the church. But, um, yeah, there is rumoured to be one around the 1100 and something. So it's 12th century grave somewhere. But, I mean, that one there is dated um, 1781. Probably can't see it on the video. But just there. Yeah. So it's very old. It might be there actually, one of these. This is in this would have been inside the church itself. That would have been like a little fireplace or some sort. There's a little grave there. Isn't that one? That's. I'll zoom in. It's not that one. That's dated 18, 1815. So it isn't that one. Then there's also some names on this here. 
also has some uh, inscriptions I can't quite make out what they say but whether it could be that one because sometimes people do get buried inside the actual church many years ago but as you can see there uh, the reign of reign of king edward 1293 this church was rated at eight marks whatever that means i have no idea i have to look up on that when i get home but this place is very nice it's a very old and interesting graves here well over 100 years old some are coming on to 200 years old but this is inside the church itself all the old uh, arched brickwork it's amazing how they got that kind of architecture back then and how neat it is and all lines up it's also symmetrical <laughs> absolutely fascinating and they didn't have today's technology yet nearly a thousand years ago they built all this but as you can see it wasn't a huge church itself let's head on into the tower I think they keep this locked up now you can go up this <coughs> excuse me you can go up this on selected days of the year but They do open it and you can go up the spiral staircase. And you can go right to the top to get the views right across the town. It's a long way up. But it's good they put in all this so people can go right up to the top again I don't know how long it was left like where you couldn't get up to the top but it's nice that some money has been put in to restore it I'll have to do that one day I've not done that I'll have to look into it but I've no idea what that is in the corner There's a lot of inscriptions. On here. Can't really read what it says on there. Other than the date of 1641. Pretty old. There's a lot here. As you'll get the view from this side, and um, as you can see, the views from the top. Oh, absolutely amazing if you went to the top it'd be an absolutely fascinating view but yeah that's the uh, top of it they got quite a few information 
sites scattered around. There's a brick tomb sort of around here from the tower. But this is all what they've dug up when they've done some uh, digging of the site. And skulls, skeletons, more brick tombs. And then over in that corner, just over there, in the corner, was a family tomb. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, and that was a fireplace. But it would have been amazing to see this place if it hadn't all been stripped of the brick to build another church. Excuse my phone, that never stops. But thank you for watching. Um, I know it's only a short video, it's not an abandoned place as such. But I thought I'd come here and give people a little chance to view some history on a sort of like abandoned, well, a derelict church, some church ruins, as people do like all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, subscribe. I've got loads of stuff coming up abandoned places, derelict places, all odds and sods. So, uh, yeah, subscribe and uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon on another Explore. Goodbye.